brilla el tibio sol con un nuevo fulgor dorando las arenas. Estamos con Don Romero Hunter. Ella es maestra de español en Topica, Kansas. Don, you brought a group of eight students to the Institute of Modern Spanish. Why did you choose Yucatan? Um, I brought students before to Mexico, um, but always to the central part, and I knew that Yucatan was very different, and I wanted to give them a different experience for them to see um, a different part of Mexico and, um, and to experience the culture here. You've been here for two weeks. What do you think about our program? Um, the program is, is very well um, established. Um, I like the fact that the school um, has provides families. The homestay aspects, the homestay aspect of it is my favorite part, and um, and I think that's the best way for students to to be able to practice what they're learning in the classes. Um, in the classroom, they learn the fundamentals. They learn grammar, vocabulary, culture, and then they're able to go back home and interact with people in the community um, and to improve their Spanish and to improve their um, their intercultural understanding. And you also took classes with us. Did you find them useful? Um, the classes are, are, are very well um, organized and the size is, is um, is so helpful to our students, to teachers as well, but to the students because they have more of an opportunity to, to practice um, as opposed to back in, in their schools at home where they're in a class of 30 students. Here they have uh, between five and eight students and they have more of an opportunity to um, practice what they're learning. And how did the students find their classes? They enjoyed them a lot. Um, I, I actually heard a lot of laughter um, <laughs> from uh, other classrooms, and they enjoyed um, uh, the way the teachers um, taught them, but also the way they interacted, and um, and they enjoyed the flexibility. If they had a question, um, the students um, felt comfortable enough to ask and um, and learn even more than um, maybe the teacher initially um, planned for the lesson. What would be your advice to other teachers regarding the Institute's programs? Um, I would highly recommend it. It's, um, I was at first a little hesitant to come to Merida knowing it was such a big city, um, but it um, is very safe and um, the school is situated in a part of town where um, it's, uh, lots of things are accessible um, and the, the students um, uh, are able to walk. Um, um, in, within the neighborhoods and um, and get to know the community a little bit more too. Will you return? Definitely. I would really like um, for my students to come um, experience what life is like in this part of Mexico and um, and um, widen their experiences so they understand how vast the Spanish-speaking world really is. Gracias, Dan. Hola. Oh, I like the the vaqueria. The vaqueria de dance. Si. He got bakery That's stuff and Ashanti feeding the pigeons with her tres leches. <laughs> <laughs> got to explore, go on a lot of trips in the afternoon, mm -hmm. especially uh, Chichen Itza and Uxmal because you now it's kind of inspired me to go see the other seven wonders of the world. So. Entre los encantos mi, de mi
Así se siente México, así se siente México, así como los labios por la piel. Así te envuelve México, así te sabe México, así se lleva México en la piel. Como ver la sierra de Chihuahua, o la artesanía en San Miguel. Remontar el cerro de la silla Si se lleva a México en la piel Cómo acompañarse con mariachi Para hacer llorar a esa canción Que en el sur se toca con marimba Y en el norte con acordeón Así se siente México, así se siente México, así como unos labios por la piel. Así te envuelve México, así te sabe México, así se lleva México en la piel. Como un buen zarape de saltillo, como bienvenida en Veracruz. La emoción de un beso frente a frente Así se lleva México en la piel Como contemplar el mar Caribe Descubrir un bello amanecer Tener la fresca brisa de Morelia La luna acariciando a una mujer Así como unos labios por la piel Así te envuelve México, así te sabe 